Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to use a VBA macro to delete rows based on a cell's value. So here we have some data and let's say we want to delete some rows here, maybe all of these cells that contain a blank here in the product column or dates before a specific date or maybe some other value. We just want to delete all the rows that contain those values. Well, we can do this process with a macro. So let's jump over to the VB editor and we'll take a look at this uh, developer tab, visual basic button, keyboard shortcut is alt F11. And I've prepared a few macros here that we're going to walk through and I'll explain and I will also make this file available for free download and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Now there are a lot of different ways to go about this process in Excel. The one that I like to use the most is to just filter the range and then delete the visible rows. So if we go back over to Excel here uh, for this first macro we're going to just filter the product column for blanks. So it would be similar to something like this where we just filter for blanks and then we have all these uh, rows here that are displayed with blanks in the product column. We just select all of these visible rows here and delete them. And that's exactly what the macro does. So I'll just clear this filter real quick, jump back over to the VB editor. So we have this macro here and it's really simple. It's really just two steps or three steps. Uh, first, although I do have this step to just set the variable for the worksheet. So this is, in this case, we're going to uh, do this on this regular range worksheet within this workbook. Uh, once we have that variable, then we can just reference it down below. So here, the first step is we're applying a filter using the auto filter method to the fourth column in that range, uh, B3 to G1000. And the criteria we're going to set that filter to is blank. So we just have nothing there for the criteria. And I have a whole article that explains the auto filter method in more detail and how to apply filters for different data types. I'll put a, la a link to that in the description below this video so you can check that out as well. So let's go ahead and start stepping through this macro just to see how it works. I'll just move the VB editor over here a bit put my text cursor in here. I'm going to hit F8 on the keyboard to start stepping through this. Uh, we highlight this line here and then I'll hit F8 again to run that line. So again, you can see over here in Excel that that's applied the filter there to the product column for blanks. And then the next step or the next line of code here is going to select all of the visible cells. So it uses the special cells method here, selecting the visible cells only, and then it's going to delete those cells. Or it's really going to delete all of the rows. So I'll hit F8 on the keyboard now, and we're going to get this warning just asking us if we want to delete the entire sheet row. And at this point, we can either say OK or we can cancel. So I'll go ahead and say OK, and that will, of course, delete those rows and then the next step here is to just clear the filters uh, you don't have to have this step but of course it's nice to then clear the filters so you can see all the data so I hit F8 on the keyboard to do that and that will clear all of those filters now if you don't want to see that warning message come up you can just delete the apostrophes here to uncomment these two lines of code application dot display alerts uh, this property will set it to false that will bypass that me that warning message that comes up and then uh, we can also set that back to true to then show any additional warning messages that might come up in the future and so that's really the entire macro there it's pretty simple does not require any looping or anything like that uh, we use the auto filter method and applying those filters to just show or display all the cells that we want to delete or all the rows that we want to delete and then we delete those uh, with this method right here. Now below this I also have a macro that will work on Excel tables. So if your data is in, Excel, in an Excel table like on this sheet here uh, the macro is very similar. It's almost the exact same macro instead of uh, referencing a sheet and a range on the sheet. Uh, we just have this variable for the list object which is an Excel table in VBA and we set that variable here. In this case, I'm using the sheet's code name. So that's this sheet right here, the table sheet. And then the first list object on the sheet. Uh, if you have more than one table on the sheet, you can also reference the table's name here. Something like table one uh, would be a uh, reference that you could use as well. In this case, I'm just referencing the sheet, I'm sorry, the table's index number. And then the rest of the code is virtually the same. And in this case, we're going to delete all the rows that contain uh, the phrase product two or the value product two in the product column, which is again that fourth column there. 
And uh, this is the line of code that will delete that from the data body range. So that's the range below the header row within the table. Again, we're going to delete all those uh, visible cells and then clear the filter. In this case, I do have display alerts turned off, so we will not see that alert come up when we run this. Go ahead and hit F5 or the run button to run that. Just take a second there to run. And now here, if we just hit our filter drop down menu, we can see we don't have product two here anymore in the product column. If you're enjoying this video, please click that big red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell icon there to get notified when new videos are published. So that was the basics really, but I did include a few additional macros in this workbook with some more advanced features. Uh, the first one will display a custom warning message. So we'll jump back into the VB editor and uh, we'll scroll down to this macro here. And uh, right here, we're going to count the number of rows that are left after we apply the filter. So again, we're filtering for product two in the product column, but in this case, this will uh, return the, or count the number of rows that are left that are visible that we're going to delete. And then this will display a message box that tells us how many rows will be deleted and asks us if we want to continue. So I'll go ahead and uh, run this. I'll hit F5 on the keyboard or run this macro. And we can see that we get this warning message come up telling us that 105 rows will be deleted and ask us if we want to continue. We can also kind of see the filter that's applied over here in the table. So this might just give you a little bit of a gut check to make sure that you are deleting the right number of rows before you actually delete it. And then you can either hit yes or no here. If you hit yes, of course, that will continue to run the macro and delete those. If you hit no, it will not. And that's based on this section here. Uh, we return the answer based on the button click to this variable here. And then this if statement will check to see if the button that was clicked was yes. And if it was, we'll run this uh, section of code to delete those rows and clear the filter. If not, if no was pressed, uh, then it will just skip that entire section and the macro will stop running. And of course, you could also move uh, the clear filter line outside of the if statement or below the if statement down here if you wanted to clear the filters after you press no. And then the other example is uh, deleting rows based on multiple values or multiple criteria. Jump back over to Excel here, we have another sheet for this. And in this case, we might want to delete uh, something in the product column, all the blanks, but maybe only for a specific date or time period. Uh, so if we jump back over to the VB editor, that's what I have here for our filter criteria. Uh, column four was going to be equal to blank and column one is going to be less than January 1st, 2015. So this uses and logic where both of those criteria must be met. I'll hit F8 to just step through this and we'll jump over to Excel and we can see that filter criteria. So now this is all the blanks in the product column, but only where the date is in 2014 or less than January 1st, 2015. And then the rest of the macro is the same and will continue to, to, to delete those visible rows. If you wanted to use or logic between columns and maybe delete it if uh, the date is 2014 or the product column is blank, you can definitely do that as well. You can run two separate macros or you can set up a column uh, that has logic for that or logic. It has a, a formula for that or logic. And I have examples of that in that article on the auto filter method. So again, I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can go check that out. So I hope those macros help you quickly delete rows based on a cell's value or multiple values. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to learn more about macros, then join me for a free upcoming webinar on the seven steps to getting started with macros in VBA. During this training, I'm going to explain how to write your first macro, what order the code runs in, what the dots between the words mean, and some of these complex things that are hard to understand when we're starting out with macros. So this will really help you automate Excel and save a ton of time with your job. So click the link right below this video to get registered for the free webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.